you welcome back to english class so today we are going to learn a new vocabulary let me uh, spell the letter for you k e e n which means keen okay k e e n the meaning of keen is sharp or eager or anxious okay if i want to give some example the knife is very keen instead of saying the knife is very sharp we can use this word keen okay the knife is very keen and rahul was very keen to help rahul was very keen to help okay rahul was very eager to help instead of saying eager we can use this word keen rahul was very uh, keen to help she is very keen to learn english she is keen to learn english she is eager to learn english okay so saying eager we can say she is keen to learn english okay and eagles have a very keen eyesight eagles have a sharp eyesight instead of saying sharp we can use this word keen eagles have a keen eyesight okay i hope you all understood this word keen so the meaning of keen is sharp are eager or anxious okay fine so now let's get into our class today we are going to learn <coughs> lesson 2 from your echoes book okay so i want all of you to get ready with your echoes book come on let's get started the title of our lesson is asking about price and quantity what's the title of our lesson asking about price and quantity do you have any idea what is meant by asking about price and quantity what is meant by price and what is meant by quantity do you have any idea okay let me explain okay for example you are going to some shop to buy something okay for example we can consider that you are going to a shop to buy a pen okay you are going to a shop to buy a pen so you wanted to know the price of that pen okay the cost of that pen so that you can buy that okay if you don't know the cost of the pen can we can we buy it no we can't okay so in order to buy that pen we will ask the shopkeeper how much is it okay or is how much does it cost okay how much this pen is okay so we will ask the price or cost of that pen so the owner will say it is okay uh, it is 50 rupees or it is 100 rupees it is 150 rupees whatever is the prices and now the owner will ask you how many pens do you want okay how many pens do you want or how much pens do you want so the quantity that is called as quantity okay the amount the amount of pens that you wanted to buy is called as quantity and the cost of that pen is called as price okay so today in our lesson this is what we are going to learn as how to ask that okay how we can ask the price and quantity of that thing that's what today we are going to learn it is going to be very easy see first let's see this to ask the price okay to ask the price you have to ask how much is it or how much does it cost okay in order to know the price or cost of that thing whatever it is it may be a dress or a pencil or pen or it may be a chocolate or whatever it is okay so first you have to if you wanted to know the cost of that thing you have to use this sentence okay how much is it or how much does it cost okay i want everyone to repeat with me how much is it or how much does it cost okay this is the way you have to ask the shopkeeper if you want to know the price or cost of that thing okay now the shopkeeper have to give you the responses he wanted to tell the price okay he wanted to tell the price of that thing so to tell the price you have to use the sentence it is okay it is 100 rupees it is 150 rupees it is 1000 rupees it is 2000 rupees okay so they are saying the amount of that price of that thing so you have to use the words it is or its 
okay it is or it's both are same okay so if you wanted to know the price you have to use the sentence how much it is or how much does it cost and the other person will give give you the reply as it is 500 rupees okay or it's 500 rupees whatever it is and now quantity come to the quantity so you are asking so the, someone is asking you to ask the quantity okay how much do you want how much do you want or how many do you want okay how much or how many you have to use both these uh, words okay how many or how much you can question them by using these sentences okay so this is the thing that uh, in our lesson they wanted to teach you so we have so many conversations in our book okay so many examples over there in our book i am going to read and explain everything for you so if you are having the echoes book with you i want all of you to open your echoes book take page number 18 or else you can just listen here okay you can just listen to me i already uh, okay all of you take page number 18 so the title is asking about price and quantity so already i explained you the basic thing okay the basic is if you wanted to know the price you have to ask how much is it or how much does it cost and while you are seeing the cost you have to say it is 500 rupees okay and now if you wanted to know the amount okay the quantity you have to ask how many do you want or how much do you want okay this is the basic thing and now let's see the things that you are having in your echoes book benny meets a hungry dragon in a park okay here the conversation is in between shopkeeper dragon and benny okay benny is a little boy so he meets a hungry dragon okay in a park benny met a hungry dragon see you can see the dragon in the picture they become friends okay so benny and dragon became friends and benny names it chocolate okay so benny named that dragon as chocolate yeah he takes chocolate to the market to buy some food so he want since the dragon is hungry benny wanted to buy some uh, things buy some food for uh, dragon okay so the already benny named dragon as chocolate so let's call him as chocolate okay he wanted to buy some food for chocolate so both benny and chocolate went to uh, market now let's see the conversation okay how much are these tomatoes so benny wanted to buy tomatoes so see how he is asking how much are these tomatoes 20 rupees a kilo so one kilo of tomatoes are 20 rupees okay one kilo of tomatoes are 20 rupees and see the shopkeeper is asking how much do you want okay how many kilos do you want that's what how much do you want i want them for chocolate two kilos please okay so benny is purchasing uh, tomatoes for chocolate okay so he is saying i want them for chocolate two kilos please how many kilos two kilos here you are thank you and now how much is a pizza please okay now he wanted to uh, buy pizza for benny so he went to the pizza shop and he was asking how much is the pizza place so the shopkeeper said 250 rupees how many do you want okay 250 rupees how many do you want five please okay so he said five he bought five pizzas okay five please how much is the largest tub of strawberry ice cream okay now he wanted to buy strawberry ice cream so he was asking how much is the largest tub of strawberry ice cream let me read once again how much is the largest tub of strawberry ice cream so the shopkeeper said 150 rupees okay how much 150 rupees now come to the next page so here they have already said to ask the price of something I already explained this to you okay to ask the price of something you have to ask how much is it or how much does it cost and 
if you wanted to tell the price you have to say it is and the amount of money to ask how many or how much to uh, ask the quantity you have to ask how much do you want or how many do you want okay now again we have some set of uh, questions and answers let's read it for let me read it for you how many or how much do you want sugar okay how much sugar do you want so 500 grams or 500 grams or kilos whatever it is okay please okay 500 grams please or 1 kilo please okay we can say and how many or how much do you want only two or three please okay see the second picture is banana so how many or how much do you want only two or three please how many or how much do you want as many as you can spare or share okay as much uh, uh, whatever how many uh, crayons you can give uh, i can take it okay that is the meaning so as many as you can spare or share how much you can share just give that to me okay so so that we can say as as many as you can spare or share and how much is it or these it's 40 or 14 rupees how much is it or these it is it is 200 rupees or these are for only 200 rupees if you are asking how much is it you can say it is only 200 rupees if you are asking how much or these you can you have to say these are for only 200 rupees okay now how much is a pair 15 rupees only how much is one 50 rupees only okay so based on the question you have to uh, give this uh, answer now come to the next page page number 20 i want all of you to read these conversations again and again whenever you are free okay it is just to improve your spoken english so it is not for memorizing the thing you have to understand the meaning and you have to try to use these sentences whenever you talk with others okay so for that you have to read it again and again at least please spend 15 minutes one five okay 15 minutes uh, for uh, this in echoes book okay with this echoes book with this echoes book please spend 15 minutes and read the things again and again so it will be very easy for you now here we have something listen to the conversations and complete the forms you will hear a conversation between tony and the receptionist at an animal doctors clinic so the clinic is animal doctors clinic okay so how you will fill the information i'm just going to explain this dash clinic you have to uh, enter the name of the clinic now appointments for doctor so the name of the doctor for wednesday 13th february uh, 2015 now time 530 name of the patient so you have to write the patient's name okay dog's name type of a patient so you have to mention the type of your dog okay many varieties of dogs are there no so you have to write the type or variety of your dog now problem what is the problem with that dog okay so you have to write the problem of that dog and then you have to write appointments or by so when they gave you the appointment you have to mentioned there okay so this is a simple thing that if you go to any animal doctors clinic they will give this kind of form okay they will allot the time and they will ask the detail of the dog the which means the name of the dog the type of the dog and the uh, problem of the dog okay so uh, you have to mention all these things and now the second one is you will have a conversation between a girl and her granddaughter okay the conversation is between girl and the granddaughter so here the name you have to write the name at the end of the class year merit certificate okay just we can just skip this okay if you listen to that conversation it will be very easy for you to uh, fill this but for now we can't uh, listen to the audio so we can just skip that uh, only for your understanding i explained this okay it's just a simple thing now come on listen and repeat okay listen and repeat again we have some set of questions uh, question answer nearly 10 okay let me read it what's the time please what's the time please if you want to know the time we can you can ask like that what's the time please so the time is it's quarter past 3 what is meant by it's quarter past 3 
which means 315 okay it's quarter past 3 means 315 now when shall I come about 11 o'clock when shall I come about 11 o'clock at 11 o'clock you can come when will the train arrive at half past 7 what does one be at half past 7 which means 7 30 okay so when will the train arrive at 7 30 when is your flight at 2 a.m so early morning 2 o'clock okay that's called as at 2 a.m what time is the appointment at quarter to 10 what time is the appointment at quarter to 10 which means at 9 45 okay when is your dance class from 5 to 6 in the evening okay from 5 to 6 5 to 6 o'clock how many are absent only two are absent how much is this dress it is only 300 rupees how much is this dress it is only 300 rupees how many do you want i will take five to five of them please how many do you want i will take five of them please how much is this one it is just rupees 10 okay so already you know all this now let, let's read the next one listen and repeat note that all syllables in writing are not pronounced in speech so here we have some words what you have to understand is we won't pronounce all the syllables that are in the words okay we won't pronounce all the syllables that are in the words for example the first one is b a s i c a l l y but we will pronounce this word as basically okay basically chocolate different interesting secretary wandering business comfortable general restaurant vegetable wednesday okay so here we won't pronounce all the words okay sorry all the letters we won't pronounce all the syllables like basically chocolate different okay different it's different interesting it's interesting wandering it's not wandering it's wandering okay so you have to keep this in your mind we won't pronounce all the syllables that are in the word okay now come to the next page and the next one is listen and repeat the sentences stress the syllables in bold some words they have given in bold we have to stress that let me read it for you go and speak to dad come and sit by me leave the room at once stand and face the east run and get the books relax and get some sleep okay that's all and and the next one look at the pictures listen to the beginning of the story the continue telling the story you may use the pictures and the words from the box given below so here this is your assignment okay you are going to do this as your assignment you can try to make up a story by using this picture and also we have some words in the box so you can try to make up a story with this okay with this clues now the next last one is speak with the partner again i'm going to read it for you here uh, there are some conversation nearly five conversation five set of conversations over there let me read it for you how much is that pair of shoes 250 rupees how much is that fruit 17 rupees each how many do you want three please how much are those i'm sorry those are not for sale and these oh these are 120 each give me two please I like this skirt. How much is it? Only 300. I will buy it. Sure. Excuse me. How much is the yellow verse? Only 145. Shall I pack it? Yes, please. Okay. So, here again and again, what I wanted to say to you is these all are the very good simple sentences. Okay. You can easily learn. So, if you read it again and again, it will store in your mind and you have to practice it, okay? Whenever you are talking with your parents or with your friends or with your uh, neighbors, okay? You can try to uh, use these kind of uh, sentences with them, okay? So, that you can improve your uh, English knowledge. 
so that's all for today so today's title is asking about price and quantity i hope you all understood today's class also try to complete the assignment okay that's all for today thank you students